How's everybody doing? Today's video is going to be a review and demo of the Dunlop Flow 0.73 millimeter pick. This is the smallest flow pick I have ever seen. Usually they are more commonly in thicker sizes, but Dunlop has used 0.73 as a pick gauge for other materials pretty popularly. Notably Tortex, they have those yellow ones. I used to use those all the time when I was learning to play. So while I have not used a 0.73 millimeter pick in quite some time, I am familiar with that thickness. In this case, Dunlop has gone with sort of a medium sort of translucent aqua blue. It has the raised Dunlop flow material. You can probably even hear that. Do some ASMR. Now that I've completely lost my mind, let's get on with it. Maybe I should put that in. So here's my impressions of this. I like the flow shape, not as much as a Jazz 3XL. 
I've said this before, but the angle is a little bit too round coming toward the tip of it for me, for my taste. And while the harder plastic used for the flow picks is not as flexible as Tortex, this thickness still gives it quite a bit of flex. Like way more than I would like. For me, this is a this is a really soft feeling pick compared to what I'm used to, which is a 1.38. And I mean, yeah, it just really squishes and not even really with just squeezing it really hard, but you can feel that characteristic of it in normal playing. It just has a very soft feel to it that I don't really like. In order to riff quickly, especially on the lower strings with a pick on the thinner side like this, I find that I have to brace it with both fingers on the back and almost like taco it out a little bit just to give it that additional rigidity, which in the long term, that will cause a pick to become kind of bent in one way unless you flip it and try to do it equally. But it'll mess a pick up to really have to squeeze it like that in order to do fast picking. So throughout that whole riff, I was really, not super hard, but putting enough flex into it where the pick wasn't gonna bend at the tip, which that is a disqualifier for my playing style. But then again, when you have a pick that has a softer feel because it flexes a bit, it does give you a bit of a softer tone. See, I literally just played a standard Jazz 3 shape pick, which is way smaller than this. But that pick had a lot more attack than this does because... It just gives when you strum. So if you like a pick that has a little bit of flex that's close to a standard size, maybe not a standard shape because it's a flow shape, but near enough a standard size, it has a good grip to it, although the grip is not covering the whole thing. It's not like a Tortex where it's just grippy. It's actually kind of slippery except for where the grip is. But if you're somebody that likes a .73 Tortex or even up to probably a one millimeter nylon, you'll probably like this pick just because it's in the ballpark of flex for those or picks that are in between the flex of those. So yeah, I would say not bad, not my favorite. I would probably not use this for any particular application that I would use. I don't hate the shape of it because it's a flow shape. I've used a one and a half mil flow, which is basically twice as thick as this. So that's probably why this doesn't feel as comfortable to me. It's not bad. I just don't see myself using it ever again, except for just this review. Again, that's not to say anything bad about it. That's just for my personal playing style tastes and uses. So there you go, that has been my review and demo of the Dunlop Flow .73. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys next time.